This is the presentation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions, um, and also reduction of fractions, all in one video. So we'll start with addition of fractions, and there's a little problem here from a booklet, and it tells us if we take one-fourth And what are we adding that with? Yes, two fourths. And how many do we have all together? That's right, the answer is three fourths. And the answers can be recorded on the little paper or on a separate paper. And once the child has done a bunch of those, they can be told the rule if they haven't discovered it already. To add fractions of the same denominator, add the numerator, and the denominator will stay the same. Next is reduction of fractions. Okay, so how much are we going to make here? That's right, two eighths. And I would like to change two eighths for another equal fraction, having as few parts as possible. What other fraction does two eighths look like? Hmm. Yes, it looks like one fourth. Two eighths is equal to one fourth. Okay, the next one is subtraction of fractions. And we'll start by making the larger fraction. How much is that? That's right, three fifths. One, two, three fifths. And we're taking away how much? Yes, one fifth. And we have left two fifths. And just like with the other one, when the students have done a bunch of these, they can be told the rule for subtraction of fractions. Next is multiplication of fractions with a whole number. What's the first fraction? Yes. One fourth. And this tells me I need to take three of them. So there's one, two, three. And let's push them together. And what do we have now? That's right, three fourths. And once they've done a bunch of those problems, they can learn the rule or record the rule if they've discovered it. And last is division of fractions. So divide to, um, actually we won't start with the rule, we'll start with this. Okay, so how much will we make? That's right, six eighths. And this tells us it's being divided in two into two. So we'll put one skittle here and one here. And each of them will get an equal amount. And 
And how much did one of them get? That's right, three eighths. And we can change these fractions for one of the same value, but with fewer pieces, if you like. But actually, I don't know if that can be reduced. So if it's possible to reduce, you can. All right.